AI is everywhere right now, and it's both making and breaking companies left and right. The incredible promise of an AI-enabled future is right there, and we can all see it coming. But in the current Wild West of AI, distinguishing between really exciting companies with true potential and all these copy-pasted GPT wrappers is actually really hard. So you can imagine my excitement when I discovered Rewind. The second I saw it, I was like, wow, this one is special. This, this one might be really it. I've been using it for a few weeks now, and Rewind is really a genius idea, in my opinion. It only really does one simple thing, which then enables the rest of the magic to happen. Basically, Rewind records everything that happens on your computer and gives you a personalized AI assistant that knows everything about you. All right, so at this point, you're either super excited about the real-life Jarvis possibilities here, or you're probably in panic mode about all the privacy issues and dystopian futures. Both are valid, but I'm an optimistic guy, and so we're gonna start with the positives, and then we're gonna go and talk about some of the potential issues in a minute. To start, the Rewind app is actually super simple. It's one of those kind of like set and forget type of thing. You can just quickly install it on your MacBook, iPhone, coming soon to Windows, by the way, and then it'll start recording everything you've seen, said, or heard right away. This allows for three key features. The first one is that you can now rewind time on your computer. You can literally come back and see what you were doing this morning, last Thursday, or June 21st, 2021 at 6.35 p.m., whatever. This kind of unlocks perfect and potentially unlimited memory of everything. This is absolutely great, but now that you have perfect memory of everything that's ever happened to you, you need to actually find a way to sift through all the years of recording and the huge amounts of data. And this is where the second feature comes in, which is search. Kind of makes sense, right? So this feature pretty much searches through everything that's ever shown up on your screen and is not limited by apps, accounts, or anything. A real life example would be that I'm searching for an article, right? I remember that I've opened it. Maybe I've opened a preview or something like this. I don't really remember how it's called or where it is or even how I found it. And so I've been searching for it everywhere on my computer and I just can't find it. Since Rewind knows everything, I can pretty much search based on the keyword or a sentence or whatever that was included in the article. In this case, I remember it had something to do with unicorn startups and AI and something like that. Obviously, Rewind can find it. It doesn't really matter if I deleted my browser history by mistake or even if the original article was deleted from the internet because I have it within Rewind. This is already quite incredible, right? But the third feature is where the magic really starts for me. The feature is called Ask Rewind and it gives you your own AI assistant. And this is the first time that I feel comfortable actually really calling something an AI assistant, a true assistant. This feature is built on ChatGPT4. And what makes it infinitely better is simply the amount of data and context it has about you and what you're doing. Now that you have conversational AI with context, you don't have to limit yourself to searching with keywords like unicorn or startups. I can literally ask it, what was the article I read last week that talked about unicorn startups built using AI and super small teams that was written by some Silicon Valley investor? Not only is it able to find the article I'm talking about when I read it and all the information about it, but it can also summarize it for me right then and there in the middle of the conversation. I'm really excited here. So let me just give you a couple more examples that I really like. Your AI assistant can now hold practically unlimited amounts of data, which makes it perfect for something like research. You can just go on Google, open the top 10 pages about DNA or any other topic you want, quickly scroll through all of them, and now I can just ask my assistant to summarize everything I've just read. I don't have to take notes anymore of pretty much anything. All my meetings are automatically recorded and transcribed. So I don't really have to take notes about them. I can just rewind and literally just read the transcript. Or I can ask my assistant for what was said during that meeting, what were the notes, what were the action items, even to remind me of the, of the previous conversations before I follow up. As soon as the meeting is over, Rewind drafts an email that is ready to send to all attendees, which contains all the notes from the call, as well as all action items. I mean, come on, this is amazing. Rewind also kind of serves as a backup because I can just kind of rewind time when something crashes to before the crash happened and keep going. That's a real, that's a lifesaver. But probably my favorite part, and I think this is what makes it a real assistant, is that it has context of what I am doing. So when I ask it to draft an email to one of my investors, it knows exactly who I am, what my company is, what I do, who the investor is, how we've met, what our last conversations were about, and everything else. It's able to draft a highly personalized email that is going to include sentences like, 
how was your holidays skiing with the kids? Because it remembers that during one of her calls, she quickly mentioned that she was preparing a ski holiday. And maybe I quickly scrolled over one of her posts on LinkedIn that mentioned it. But it can also summarize to me my whole relationship with this person before I jump on my monthly catch-up call with them. All right, so let's talk about privacy, which is obviously a big concern here. You should definitely do your research and read the fine print before using Rewind or any other similar apps. But here's a short version. Rewind puts a lot of effort into branding itself as a privacy first app, which kind of makes sense, right? Everything is stored locally on your own device and should never touch the cloud, which is great. But it also means that you're gonna use a lot of storage to save all this data. Their estimation is that you'll need an additional 14 gigabytes of storage every month. The Ask Rewind feature is powered by ChatGPT4 and OpenAI. And so obviously Rewind will have to send some of your data to OpenAI so that they actually process your request and send back an answer. In this case, Rewind says that they will never send your credit card information, for example, or social security numbers to OpenAI servers or anywhere else, which is good, I guess. I mean, thank you. You can also delete recordings whenever you want, and you can also force rewind not to record some apps. So for example, private browsing is never recorded and you can select some apps like for example, my notes or any other password management app that I might be using. I also quickly want to talk about Apple actually and how this might be the perfect space for them. But first, I just wanted to let you know that Rewind just announced a super interesting new hardware product called the Rewind Pendant. Here's its description. Rewind Pendant is a wearable that captures what you say in here in the real world and then transcribes, encrypts, and stores it entirely locally on your phone. We take a privacy-first approach and offer features for you to ensure no one is recorded without their consent. With Pendant, Rewind is a personalized AI powered by truly everything you've seen said or heard. I'm not going to say anything. I'm just going to let you make up your mind on this one. Actually, please let me know in the comments what you think about this one. I'm really curious. And uh, yeah, I almost forgot. Please subscribe if you like this video. Let's talk about the big dogs. Let's talk about Apple. As you know, if you're a company in 2023, you need an AI strategy. That's just, that's just how things are. Apple is not about to be left behind. And we've seen the headlines. We've seen that Apple is already investing heavily in AI. And Apple has a habit of always being late to the party, but when they come, they really bring the heat. And by that, I mean that they always do things the Apple way in a crazily integrated way. And this, this right here, this really feels like a place where Apple could absolutely dominate. This could be what Siri never was. The crazy amount of data devices out in the world and the amount of trust that Apple has is just on a crazy other level compared to its competitor. Privacy and trust are absolutely vital to getting large amounts of people to use something like this. And Apple has that. Apple has been doing that for a really long time. I really can't think of any other company that has the same amount of trust and focus on privacy that Apple has. As I said, this could really be the place where Apple could completely dominate. Let's say they come out with something the Apple way that is in all my devices instantly, it probably works with Siri as well. It's integrated with all the main Apple apps, etc. It might really be the ultimate assistant from day one. I would be super, super curious to see what Apple could do here. Can you imagine Apple doing something like this and how do you think they would go about it? Please let me know in the comments and please don't forget to like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video and if you want to see more videos from us. Hope you enjoyed and talk to you soon.